Okay, so from the route we left off on the other day, uh, Mizuki is now instead still a mute, and we're pretty much left to figure this mystery out on our own without her help. Now what's gonna happen to her, I don't know, but we just finished investigating the carnival, and then we can head over to this Sagan. I guess how are they're saying it now? The Sagan residence. So I should be a lot more alert now. So let's uh, let's do this. Saturday, ten thirty p.m. Late at night. Huh? Coming. Now the question is. Dante. Is she still gonna meet her end? Date, you have confirmed that Iris is safe. Are you done here? I know, I know. Date, you came, but aren't you a little early? Huh? You said you would play Shovel Forge with me tomorrow. No, I didn't. I did promise to go on a date with you. Tomorrow? It's not even midnight yet. I kept my promise by staying home, so you need to keep your promise, Date. By Wait. the way, where's your- Hang on, how old is she again? Okay. We're all- we're okay. Mom. She left earlier. Oh. She got a denial she? message from someone. Oh. She looked kind of panicky, too. Where did she go? Uh, don't know. She didn't tell me. Uh-huh. Did she know? I'm hop, hop, hoppy, happy. Hop, hop, hop. Rabbit goes hop. Why do you ask? Oh, well, you see... Because I saw your dead body in a dream. Are you seriously going to tell her that? You hush. Hmm? Oh, did you want something to drink? No. Sorry, I should be going. What? Leaving already? Yeah, I have some work to do. Well, will you at least watch my stream at one? Stream? Don't you remember? I'm an internet idol. And you're gonna stream online? Yeah. At one in the morning? Yeah. You're a young woman. You shouldn't stay up so late. Oh, jeez, you sound like an old man. Because he is an old man. It's fine. Today isn't for work, it's just a personal stream. That's not the issue. And tomorrow is Sunday. The day isn't the issue either. Anyway, please watch, okay? Sure. I'll ask you about it on tomorrow's date. Fine. Are we really? Date, I have been thinking. Oh, hey, what's up, Christian? So, um... <laughs> What happened since the last time? Let me just go over it with you real quick. So the other day, let's see. Go chart. The other day, we discovered that boss might be the Cyclops killer. And then we ran into a roadblock. We cannot continue this route until we figure out these other pathways. So right now, the new one. So right now I am, since there was a diverging paths on like two of these, um, uh, what's it called, sinks, I'm going to explore the second route of the first sink. The one with Mizuki. And on this route, um, Mizuki doesn't get cured of her muteness, so she's still silent. And now we're investigating everything else on our own. And what, what else happened is, upon discovering, um, upon going on the second route, we found Iris's dead body underneath the merry-go-round. And that's pretty much where I stopped.
I am glad that nothing bad happened. Yeah, you're right. Because sometime real soon, I'm going to die. Yeah, the only thing that really make that gives me trouble is the whole sinking thing cuz like all of those options, it's hard to make sense of like what you should do and what you shouldn't do. It's just a matter of like just doing it and hopefully it triggers something else. If not, well, you kind of just wasted time. So now, since we have kind of like are assuming boss might be the new Cyclops killer, we have to pay very much more attention to what she's kind of saying now. She was returned to the hospital after the sink. She'll probably be hospitalized for a while. Hmm? Yeah, my original Strange. assumption right now is I don't think she is, but they're obviously or they're obviously making us assume that she is, but I don't think she is. There's something Mizuki's else that we're not seeing. At home, Date. The GPS and Wi-Fi access point confirm this. She went home by herself? Possibly. But why? Unknown. There's been no progress. As usual. The people at the main office are so incompetent. The smartphone you brought in yesterday is still our only lead. Hopefully there'll be a breakthrough. About Renju. Renju? Yesterday I told you he vanished after he was questioned. Well, we found him. Where? Central Hospital. He was brought there from a traffic accident. He's unconscious, and it's not looking good. Could it be? Capital Highway? Oh, you heard about it? We heard the report on the radio last night. So he's alive this time. Okay. I can't believe it was about Renju. Date, you should go talk to him. He is Shokun Adami's former husband, after all. He might have some information. If he's dead at the hospital, should I even be surprised? But he's still asleep, isn't he? Smack him across the face and wake him up. You're his friend, right? Hello. Oh, come on. I asked HQ to look into it. They found a few things. First, the owner was Shoko Nadami. It was Shoko's phone? Yes. Her face was registered in the phone's facial recognition authentication. Who called the phone? Sorry, we don't know that yet. They called from a burner phone. They didn't register a name. I can make a deduction with this information. We know that the phone belonged to Shoko. Okay. Right. Whoever it was made their call at 9.02 p.m. after Shoko was killed. I believe we can make an assumption here. The caller probably wasn't the murderer. Why would they call the phone of the person they just killed? Maybe. But the culprit might have been trying to get Mizuki to call, so that they can bring her to the scene. But then why hide the phone? They would have left it somewhere easier to find. True. But either way, our mysterious caller is suspicious. Consider this. They did not register the phone under their real name. And also, they hung up as soon as Date mentioned he was a cop. And on top of that, 
They blocked Date's number and turned off the phone. The blame lies entirely with Date. Rookie I mistake. cutting his salary. I'll cut your battery. Do it. I'll plug in somewhere. Anyway, we have to identify the caller. If you don't want your salary cut. <sighs> Fine. All the history's been erased. There's nothing on the phone itself, but we can still look up its records. I happen to have a friend at the cell company. The head office is looking into it now. I am watching the case file of Shoko Nagami as it is updated in real time. Currently, it appears as though there has been no significant progress. Hmm. Hey Date, why not go to that bar you haven't been to in a while? Bar? Marble in Golden Yokocho. I have three places to check. Central Hospital, where Enju is. I don't know if he's in any condition to talk, but it might help. I could also go home to see Mizuki or get information from Mama at Marble. Aiba, let's move. Roger that. I think Date, I probably want to go try and to speak go on with a date Renju. With Iris yesterday. What exactly are you planning to do? Ah, uh, nothing. What? Seriously? It's a social date. A man's promise is his bond. You absolutely must keep your word. Have you ever heard of a white lie? So, you're gonna act like it never happened. That's not what I said. The day's not over yet. If I go see her and socialize for a bit, that's a date, right? Oh, so you are not planning a real date then? No, of course not. If you say so. You almost sound relieved, Iba. Pardon? Are you jealous? Uh, impossible! I could never be jealous of a silly little human like her. Uh-huh. Sure. There are many points of interest surrounding Mizuki, but we will need to speak with her directly. I hope but we she can. gets better soon. Alright, let's travel to the central hospital first, see if we can get anything out of Renju. Because we have yet to actually speak with him. We should at least have some information, or interesting information, I hope. Is he not in here? He's not here. Oh, thanks. As you can see. Oh, I thought he was invisible for a second. Mr. Okiura's room. I'm certain of it. I'm a nurse. I work here. I'm assigned to Mr. Okiura. Did he, he snuck just leave? Out at night. Oh, great. Snuck out. Mr. Okiura arrived with internal injuries. The surgery was successful, but he was in no condition to move. He would have opened up his wounds, and then he would be in real trouble. Real trouble, huh? Yes. I can't believe it. Where could he have gone? Renju is extremely suspicious. He has no alibi for the time of Shoko's murder. That was noted in the investigation report. That's not so strange, though. There's more. I cannot reach Renju by any means. He has not attempted to visit Mizuki in the hospital, even though she is his daughter and witnessed a traumatic event. Despite all this, he runs from the hospital, even with substantial injuries. Perhaps this is an escape. What is this man up to? Jeez. Roger that. Hello, this is Lemnus Gate Entertainment Offices. Let me hear your message. Thank you. What kind of employee training do they have there? Anyway, I gave them my name and told them about Renju. Do you have any idea where he might be? Uh, sorry, no clue. I'm trying to get in touch with him too. So far, nothing. I'm getting worried. He must be a mess right now. Oh, wait. Maybe he's at the Maid Cafe. Maid Cafe? Do you mean Sunfish Pocket? Are we gonna find him dead there again? Yeah, that's the one. Like, out of nowhere, Renji was like, I'm gonna- No, I don't think we will. Pocket. Uh, I don't think we're gonna find him there I guess again. I gonna throw, like, a secret party or something? 
But with the accident and all, still, we or must be there. Or will we? Actually, probably Thank will. You. You've been very helpful. We'll probably find something else about the situation. No problem. Farewell. Sunfish pocket, huh? It is worth scoping out. Because by the time we uh, on the other route, by the time we got there, it was already nighttime when we actually went to go look, and it's still early here. So it makes sense that we might catch him or see him before anything happens. So I can indeed go there right now, but first, um, let us check out. There's nothing of interest in here, right? Not really. Okay, so let's go check on Musiki. Sagan, Iris's mother. Dude, she's lifting. What? Yes, but why? Oh, Date. Sorry for showing up like this. How much do you lift, girl? Suki, what are you doing? What's it look like? Bench pressing. You can talk. Yes, she's no longer mute. What did you do? I received a Nile message from Izuki last night. Teacher, can you please help me? I understood right away. The girl's been through so much. I couldn't say no to one of my students. You're her teacher? That's right. Mizuki is in my homeroom class. I went to the hospital to pick her up. She left earlier. She got a Nile message from someone. Mizuki wrote a note saying that she wanted to go home. Not to Renju's house, but here. So that's the story. I apologize for coming over without asking. Alright. Why are you bench pressing? When I started talking to her, Mizuki re racked to the weight. Mizuki. Oh, it's Renju sent you rooms. that now message, didn't he? What? I got this buddy of mine. Real bad personality, but real good with technology. I got some help from them. Bad personality? It was a message sent at 8.05 last night. Does this sound familiar? Mizuki, Daddy got caught up in something serious. Please come to Bloom Park's merry-go-round right away. Daddy needs your help. Please do as I say. Yeah, that was it. It was from Daddy's phone. But I didn't want to say anything because that would make Daddy a suspect, so... So you kept quiet. Yeah. My dad's never said anything like that to me, ever. That he was counting on me? I had to go. But you invited Ota along. Bloom Park is in the middle of the Kawasaki District. There are a number of homeless individuals in a high crime right there. Mizuki must have been worried about going alone. Yeah, I'm fine, thanks to you. Well, not exactly you. It was teacher who stayed with me all night. And what did she do exactly? I couldn't. It's not like we have conversations about our day anyway. Because you don't talk. Because you don't listen. Oh. When I got there, the ice pick was, it was, it was stuck in my mom's eye. I couldn't think straight. I, the only thing I could think was, I had to get it out. So you pulled it out. Yeah. After Ota ran away? You know, I know it seems like a long chat, but like a part of me thinks like these, 
thinks that <laughs> these two are like conspiring with each other or something. Yeah. But I have no proof to like prove that. Did you hear any sounds? Sounds? Like a ringing phone? Just a random thought. Oh, I think I did hear something like that. But I don't remember where it was coming from. I just got scared and ran into the column. The door was open a little, so... Confirmed. The call at 9.02 p.m. It must have been the phone inside the horse ringing. I don't think so. Her eye socket was empty? Yeah. Thanks. I'm sorry to have to ask you stuff like that. It's okay. So it was not Mizuki who took the eyeball? No. It was already gone when she got there. That eyeball has yet to be found. It was probably taken by the culprit. What's wrong with Daddy? You haven't heard? Heard what? She does not know about the accident. Do you know where he is? I don't know where he is. Can you think of anywhere he might go? No, not really. I don't know where Daddy goes. Did he visit you when you were in the hospital? No. no. But I didn't expect him to. He's always busy. He doesn't care about me. She's my teacher. She's special. She's Daddy's friend and Iris's mom. Sometimes I have dinner at her house. She's extra nice to me. Oh, I know I shouldn't be. I should love all my students equally. But I see Mizuki after school sometimes, and she just looks so lonely. I can't help myself. If this was a little boy, I would be very concerned. You know what? I actually don't know. I didn't do anything special. I just held her against me. Held her? I was hugging her close to me all night. When dawn came, I heard her say, Teacher, and then she started to cry. As you can see, she's fine now. She had a lot bottled up. It came out with the tears, I think. What? X-ray? Huh? That's... A plate of medical grade titanium in her right shoulder. Oh. That it? Huh. Okay. Does it bother you? Can you not move it? No. I can't even feel it, I'm afraid. Was there an accident, or...? I suppose you might call it that. About six years ago, I was shot in the shoulder. Yeah, we saw that. The nerves died, and... So did her arm. Anyway, the story is, one day a criminal broke into my house. Oh yeah, we know this story. He was carrying a gun. And the way he talked. He sounded insane. Drugs? Maybe. The police statement said that he wasn't under the influence of anything. Just a random crime. She's a little quiet, but she's a very clever girl. And more than anything, she is kind. Kind? When I'm carrying heavy bags, she'll come and help me without me asking. When I'm troubled, she'll sometimes pick flowers to give to me. Not that she has a perfect disciplinary record, but she's a good girl. What's on her record? There are a few incidents. Once, she let out all the frogs that were going to be used for science class. Another time, she punched the bully so hard that he chipped a tooth. Sounds like more than just 
incidents. But I like that about her. She's a little clumsy, and just like Renju. I think you like her a little too much, miss. Yes, elementary school. I didn't know you taught at Mizuki school. I didn't know Mizuki was living with you. I knew about her circumstances with Renju, but he described you as a relative. But I suppose not. Mizuki explained the situation to me. Is it a coincidence? You said you and Renju knew each other from high school, right? Yes, at Eitoku High. And you work at the public school here? That's right, a district elementary school. Is that a coincidence? You becoming the teacher of your friend's kid? Well, I hadn't always planned on being a teacher, but... It wasn't a coincidence that Mizuki ended up in my class. Renju seemed really intent on sending Mizuki to a school where I was teaching. They even moved to get into my school district. That was about five years ago, in spring. Before the divorce? Yes, but I heard that Shoko didn't have a problem with the move. Officially, Mizuki lives at Ren Renju's house. Her local elementary is actually pretty far from here. My, from here, my house. Mizuki takes the train every morning to get there. Do you know where he is? Renju? I don't know. Really? Hitomi does not appear to know that Renju was hospitalized either. Anyway, Mizuki has recovered from her aphonia. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. I did not know that Hitomi was Mizuki's homeroom teacher. Hmm. Is there something wrong? It's a little suspicious. No. Maybe? Sorry. Alright, let's go to Marble next. Let's talk to Mama, and then we can head over to Sunfish Pocket. Well, well, if it isn't Dante! Long time no see. Is something wrong? No, I just wanted to talk. About Shoko Nadami, Ren's ex. You're as sharp as ever. I saw it all on the news. How awful. Hmm, that's unusual. Not a bourbon. I'm working. I drink at work all the time. We have very different occupations. It's kind <laughs> of the same. Kind of I the make same. people throw up. You make people throw up the truth. I mean, when you put it that way. I've been okay. How are you, Date, honey? I don't see you around here much anymore. I've been busy. You used to come all the time. You and Ren, grumbling over your glasses of bourbon. Laughing, drowning each other's sorrows, sometimes getting into arguments. One time it even became a real fight. You remember that? Really? Oh, yes. You don't remember? Your drunk ass spilled your beer on Ren's watch. Ren was furious, yelling about how this watch is more important than my life, or whatever. He blew up on you. That was the only time I've ever seen Ren that mad. That's why I remember it so well. Yeah, his favorite watch. He got it from his new lover. An anniversary gift. Oh, this was of course after the divorce. <laughs> Ren was so happy, he showed it off to me. He's had that watch on him ever since. Hmm. <laughs> right. I have something, but I don't know how useful it would be. I mean, anything can help at this no, point. tell me. You know how Shoko was a representative of that investment company? Yeah. Yep. They were part of a massive fraud scheme. Yeah. Really? That's right. And they were in bed with the Kumakuras, the Yakuza gang. So maybe... The Kumakuras killed her? Doubtful. I don't know for sure. 
but they were capable of it. Maybe Shoko did something to piss off the wrong people, and they punished her for it. It's been a while. I don't think you'd be that simple. I have simple. no idea. What's wrong with Ren? No, he just disappeared from the hospital. Nothing too serious. Oh no, really? Yeah. I see. I'll contact you if I get anything. Please do. She might technically have the body of a man, but she's got a maiden's heart. She belongs to a lot of pro-LGBT groups and the like. Oh, well, not surprised. Shoko was involved in illegal activities. Perhaps the rental phone was used for that purpose. The Kumakuras. They have a relationship with Renju. I remember him telling me that. Do you want to pay them a visit? Yeah. I hope it won't cause problems. Alright. Now... Let's go to the Sunfish Pocket. See if we can discover something different this time. And Renju should not be here, or he should be here and but still be alive. Welcome home, Sea King. Sea King? Oh! <laughs> Is this your first time here? Uh, sorry. I'm not here as a customer. I need to talk to someone about something. Who that? Oh. Jeez, kid. Excuse me. By the way, I didn't introduce myself yet. I'm Konami Date of the Metropolitan Police Department. You're a detective? Something like that. What kind of furniture can you drink? Huh? Um, a light beer? Nope. Rice? You can't drink rice. The answer is liquefied leather sofa. How would anyone ever guess that? Can you even drink that? I did not expect to get a joke from looking at a chair. That customer looks like he's on death's door. Let's hope he's not blowing his life savings here. I can x-ray her? I think that seems a little rude. Uh, and why am I doing this? I must be the bearer of bad news. Even with x-ray, her clothes will not turn transparent. Your heart rate and blood pressure is rising. The concentration of phenylethylamine in your blood is rising rapidly. What are you excited about? Nothing. That's what we call the customers. Us mermaids serve the sea kings. And we really are mermaids, you know. Don't tell anyone. What? Everyone working here is a real mermaid. But you have legs. 
They were a gift from Poseidon. We were given legs and feet. Wow. So that we can gather riches and foreign currency in the labor market. Amazing. Date, let's go. No, not yet. <laughs> There's still so much to learn. Oh god. Do not listen to her siren song. Please tell me more. I bet you we just missed Renju. No, he never oh. showed up. Okay, he wasn't here. When was the last time he came here? Hmm, let me think. He's just the owner, not the manager, so he comes sometimes, but not all that often. At this cafe, the maids and clerks are referred to as mermaids. Alright. What is this? Cream soda. Alright. Why are you here? Because I'm worried about Tessa. Iris, what's the matter? Why? Yesterday night. Well, it was past midnight, so more like this morning? I don't care about the timing. Is it about the stream? What happened? Tessa was streaming, as usual, uh -huh. from her living room at home, but suddenly... Actually, let me just show you. Did something happen? I always record her streams. Oh. Okay, that's definitely super fan. Super fan things. Don't open the door. Okay, one second, I'm coming. And she never came back. Sorry, oh. everyone. Something came up. But I've got to go for now. I'll sing the rest next time. Bye. I like how he's holding the trident, that's actually funny. It's supposed to be part of the chair, but I guess he just took it off. Sure am. I come here whenever I've got time and money. I was here yesterday too. Around 6.30 I think? But I couldn't get in. I saw a sign at the entrance that said the whole place got rented out for some party. But I came all the way to Akihabara, you know? I didn't want to just go home. So I bought a new one. A new what? A phone? I dropped my old one in a puddle, remember? Have you seen Rinju? No? No, haven't seen him. Is this related to what happened at Bloom Park? body on the merry-go-round was Renju's ex-wife. I didn't know that she was Mizuki's mom. Did she change her name or something? Mizuki saw her own mother's dead body, and I just left her there and ran away like a coward. I'm such a piece of shit. I should have stayed. I should have done something. Why did I do that? Oh, is it eating you up inside, Ota? Yeah. Seriously. Wow, you actually feed him too. Did we really need to see here that? Adding up your options? But you can <laughs> order two, Date. That's not why I'm mad, Ota. 
What's with that spear? It's not a spear. It's it a trident. It belongs to Poseidon, god of the sea. You know, a trident. Why do you have that? We treat our customers like lords of the sea. We give them these tridents. I mean, isn't it's that like a, a little, little dangerous? The color changes depending on your rank. There's bronze, silver, gold, platinum, and at the very top, or a calcum. Okay, so he's at gold. Huh. So it basically measures how much money you've spent on these girls. <laughs> basically. Well, that doesn't sound very nice. It's more like a way to exploit their vanity, to separate our customers from their money as much as possible. Sure. Right. That sounds even worse. <laughs> I'm still gold. Not that good. How much did you spend to get that? Um, about 200,000 yen. Pardon? I suddenly understand why someone would want to kill another human. One hour into the stream, so about 2 a.m.? That's weird, right? I can't imagine how much getting to the top would cost. Someone coming to visit at 2 in the morning? It, she looked really serious, too. I was worried about her, so I tried to call, but she didn't answer. She didn't read any of my Nile messages, either. I thought maybe the people at Sunfish Pocket would know something. Tessa used to work here. She made a lot of friends. I'm one of them. But I don't know what she's up to. I asked the other girls too, but no one knows anything. Iba, call Iris. She's not gonna answer. The number you are attempting to dial is either offline or unavailable. Hmm. Huh. No way. Not surprised. Anyway, prophecies are simply not possible. Something wrong, sir? Uh, no, nothing. I wonder if Tessa's okay. I'm so worried about her, I can barely eat. Yeah, here you are, still getting fed. You look like you can eat just fine. Date, Renju is not at this location. We have other areas we need to search. Yeah, you're right. All right, one more place to go. The Kumakura office. Now, is anything going to be different here? Who's this asshole? You made a big mistake coming here. Go home. All right. Bye then. Hey, Date. What? Ugh, I hate dealing with these chumps. Didn't you hear me? Do you want to die, old man? You bastard! Sorry for the late introduction. I'm with the MPD. A cop, huh? I hope you're gonna tell us something different this time. So, you wanna explain what the fuck a cop is doing in my office? I think we should exchange names before exchanging expletives. Name's MoMA, the warhorse. Don't give a fuck what your name is. All right, MoMA. I have a few things I want to ask you. Two days ago at Bloom Park, a woman's corpse. The only was found difference here is I think we're not gonna discover the the politician. I have to I have to check the check the area first. Have you heard the name Shoko Nadami? I don't think we'll find the politician. Sure have. How? 
Heard it on the news. The media's making a real fuss about this new serial killer. Can't help but hear about it. Do you think that pulls out into a bed? What would be the point of that? Fuck no. Why would we do that? Language. <laughs> what? The chairman is right in front of you. What? I run the Kumakura gang. I'm Moma Kumakura. That can't be right. The chairman of the Kumakura... You aren't the chairman. Yo, asshole. You need a lesson in manners? Date, wait. I did some research and discovered that Roha he left a suicide. But MoMA did not take over. MoMA took over six years. Okay, so I'm just gonna like skip over stuff I remember reading. Don't know nothing. I know her face and her name. It was on the news. Nothing else. That's a lie. I have no idea what you're talking about, cop. You must have gotten some bad info. Date, look at the, the thermograph from when you inquired about Shoko. Body temperature rising. Red hot lie. It appears that way. How do I get him to come to it? Remove his fingernails one by one. Oh. Oh, God. Not my style. Blackmail him? Blackmail? Find his weakness and threaten him with it. Let's examine the room. Perhaps we may discover one of his secrets. Okay, so that's a different, I think. Let's see. I got nothing. There would be no point in. Okay, so let's see. What can we discover in this room? Wait, what? The company philosophy on the wall. After 40, your toenails will grow slower. Well, that's an interesting motto. <laughs> Go to see the pandas. Okay, let's see. Walker? Oh. Sofa? Table? Marvelous. What? Marvelous Marvel. Wow, that is a big flying squirrel. That is a tiger. Ima, can you hack it? I cannot. The power is off. I'll turn it on. Will it come true? That is not Shenlong. Nice Dragon Ball reference. <laughs> I wish for panties. I told you that's not Shenron. Oh, here we go. Why do you have in a figure? There's a hidden safe behind the crest. There is something inside. I recognize that. It's just like the one I saw at Matsushita Diner. An A-set figure. Correct. But why is that there? Unknown. But perhaps... Big fans? Hey, you wouldn't happen to be a fan of A-set, would you? What? Who's that? A schoolgirl internet idol. You know what I'm talking about. Think you can get away with talking to our boss like that? He's tough as bricks and hard as nails. Never being a pussy shit like that, <laughs> fucker. <laughs> really now? Really? The Kumakura Crest. Water. Wet! Uh, sweat! He said! He said you bet! Fears. Upset? Uh, regret? Hey, say! 
Shadows. Threat! A silhouette! ASAP! Just as I thought. Boss? What's this? What's gotten into you, boss? Shut up! Don't look at me! He's blushing. Get out of here! Did you hear me? I said get the fuck out of here! Yes, sir. Fat one grabbed the skinny one and dragged him out. I've got your secret now. If you don't want that to get out, you better answer my questions. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Uh oh. Who knew? How did you know? You're hiding an ASAP figure in the safe. How did you know that? I have superpowers. Yeah, sure. Rohan was my older brother. He was my big brother in this organization, and my blood brother. But he's gone now. A suicide? Yeah, after breaking out of the hospital. So he committed suicide after breaking out of the hospital? Renju broke out of the hospital, and he died. Is there a connection? About 20 years back. Both he and I were the new guys in the Ujisaki family. The Ujisakis are above the Kumakuras in the hierarchy. At the time, we were in a turf war with a rival gang. One day, one of their boys walks in here and beats my bro's face in with a metal bat. His vision's been fucked on the right side ever since. The doctors say he can still see. But it doesn't register. Like, he only eats food off the left side of his plate. Wait a second. About 20 years back, both he and I were the new guys in the Ujisaki family. The Ujisakis are above the Kumakuras in the hierarchy. At the time, we were on a turf war with a rival gang. One day, one of their boys walks in here and beats my bro's face with a metal bat. His vision's been effed on the right side ever since. The doctors say he can still see, but it doesn't register. Like he only eats food off the left side of his plate. Uh huh. And if he's drawing a picture or whatever, he only draws the left side. Date, a question for Moma. Uh huh. Is Rohan left handed? Why? Just ask him, please. Yeah, he was. Confirmed. Rohan must suffer from hemispatial neglect on his right side. As you are aware, the brain is divided into what is called the right brain and left brain. Right. One side develops into the superior hemisphere, responsible for language and higher functions. The other side controls spatial recognition ability. In most people, the superior hemisphere is the left brain. In roughly one third of the population, the right brain is the superior hemisphere. This is often linked to left-handedness. MoMA just confirmed that Rohan was left-handed. From this, we can conclude that his right brain was his superior hemisphere, and his left brain was the inferior hemisphere. Rohan suffered a beating on the left side of his head. That must have damaged his left brain. That caused him to lose his spatial cognitive ability. Anyway, after getting the shit beaten out of him, he changed, man. He became cold-blooded. I'm talking ruthless. One time, we captured some street bosses from a rival gang. Bro grabbed him by the big toe and took a potato peeler to him. From the toe to the thigh. Oh my god. Oh jeez, I do not want to imagine that. Oh no, 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 no. Totally blank expression. Like he was scraping bonito flakes. Sick fuckers like that always end up running the world, don't they? He started climbing the ranks, and eventually, he was taken in by the Ujisaki family boss. The Ujisakis decided to make him head of our gang, and that's how we became the Kumakuras. About six years ago, I remember him telling me about something big. Some threat to the Kumakuras that could bring us all down. He didn't give me the details, but I figured it was something from his past coming back to bite him in the ass, you know? Anyway, 
His plan was to handle his shit internally. Didn't want too many people knowing about it. But whatever he planned didn't work. When the chips were down, he decided to handle it himself. He ended up shooting some guy in his house. Wait. His house. Does this have to do with number 89? A few days later, cops busted him. Prosecution tried to get him on premeditated murder, but it was determined that he was insane at the time. Maybe they were right, you know? His head's been getting worse and worse for the past 20 years. He gets relapses and all that. Anyway, they decided to keep him in a special hospital. And naturally, because I'm his brother and next in line, I was the successor. Right. We do have connections with the investment company Shoko worked at. The fraud company. A company that commits fraud. No comment. Anyway, we never had any problems with Shoko. There'd be no reason for us to kill her. Exactly as I thought. No point hiding it, right? Yeah, I know about Shoko's ex. I told Moma about Renju's accident and about his disappearance from the hospital. Do you know where he is? Nope, sure don't. It's not like we keep in touch or anything. I detect no abnormalities in his thermograph. Looks like he's not lying. Us Kumakuras are a branch of the Ujisaki family. The Ujisaki family runs a yearly golf tournament. We were all at the tournament. We only got... You've been asked off... Yeah, I remember this I one. The hotels, yeah, they were, it is not included. Hey, Moma. I've got a favor to ask. Can you get me information on Renju? His whereabouts, rumors on where he might be, and I need some leads. And what if I refuse? And your gang finds out you're the world's biggest ASAP fan. <sighs> in exchange for helping me, there's a reward in it for you. A reward? You get to meet her. I'll let you meet ASAP. Oh, ho, ho. What? I met her yesterday at Lemniscate. We're acquaintances now. Really? Yeah. You promise? Yeah, I promise. The Kumakuras appear to be unrelated to the investigation. It was still worth it just to find out Moma is an ASAP fan. Really? That information might come in handy later. Let's go somewhere else, Ima. We got what we needed here. Alright, to Abyss Headquarters. Oh. 